Hi, Doris. Hi, Roberto. Hi, teacher. Sorry. Hi, teacher. Uh, uh, actually, I I driving. Okay. My house. All right. That's fine. All right. Very good. Just give me a second, guys, please. Hi, Domingo. Hi, Ever. Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Very busy, teacher. Very busy, yes, me too. Full of, full of work, a lot of work, driving, yeah. moving the place to place. All right, mire que ya, ya vamos a descansar, vaya. No nos queda mucho. And then we can relax a little bit. So nos faltan, ese día hay tres más, okay? And then we rest for a little bit. So we should be happy about that. Um, Ever, do you have holidays next week or not? Yes, teacher. Toda la semana, Ever. Eh, nos vamos el viernes y retornamos hasta qué? Hasta el otro lunes, igual como con con, con las clases. ¿Qué? Nos ponemos de acuerdo. Cuando sea grande quiero ser como usted. <risa> oh, me too, me too. Me too. Jorge, Jorge, cuando él quiere ser a un mes de vacación y nadie le dice nada. En serio, Jorgito. Te toca 7:24 al último. <risa> sí. All right, pero lo bueno es que. Pero aquí estamos. Daniel, ¿usted va a descansar o no? No, no, no. I will go and work at night from Monday to Thursday. No, Daniel, en serio. Yeah, really, at night. <laughs> I am but, the, but the Friday off, oh, Daniel. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday. Okay, well, and Monday. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> it could be worse, Daniel. It could be worse, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so you need to be thankful that it's that way. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very nice. Hold on, guys. I just in fact, in, in, in fact I go I I don't like go to the beach to the mountain. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. You you rather <laughs> stay home? Yes, yes. My home and activities of uh, of a uh, church. church. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that's nice. Well, yeah, it's always important, right? Yes, this is the most important. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sometimes to go out is not the best, the best thing to do. No, it's depending. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, true. I mean, we just need to be careful with things. <laughs> Doris, what are you, what are, what is Doris saying? She's going to what? Going to rest from Saturday to Sunday. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right, very nice. I like that. All right. Okay, guys. So um, let's, let's just start with this uh, or let's continue with the class that we were looking at yesterday. 
we have this schedule here. This is the one we finished this one, right? We finished the questions. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. We finished. All right, very good. Okay. So yesterday, yes, we finished this. We were talking about uh, Laura is the kitchen manager. Tomas is the this washing boy. Uh, Sofia is the bartender and Carlos is a server. All right. So we have those job positions at the restaurant and then we had some um, duties or some tasks or some responsibilities that they have to do. All right. And when they have to do them. All right. So remember. ¿Cómo decíamos ayer que decíamos esto? ¿Cómo se llama? Aquí se lo subrayo. Ajá. Schedule. Schedule. Yes, it's a schedule. All right, very good. This is the schedule of this person. All right, now. We are going to work, guys, on number seven, donde dice, in pairs, use the model above to create a basic schedule for five employees at your company. All right. So, and then we're going to share the schedule with the class. Solo vamos a esperar un par de minutitos para que entre más compañeros, all right, para que puedan estar en los grupos. Entiendo que eh, Doris está como, eh, no puede participar ahorita. Debbie, no sé si usted puede participar hoy. Y los demás que están con cámaras apagadas, can you tell me if you can participate or not? Yes, teacher. Okay, Trinidad. I'm still driving. Sí, teacher, sí voy a participar, solo le había mandado un audio. Ah, pero... Por el de velo me siento un poco así hinchadita de la cara, así que, <risa> pero ya estoy en casa y mi niña ya está ya de alta, así que aquí ah, estoy en casa. Bueno, sí voy a participar. Ah, gracias. Perfecto, no se preocupe. Ok, lo bueno es que ya están todas ahí en casita. All right. Yes, gracias. Yes, very nice. Uh, Jorgito, are you driving? Roberto también iba manejando, me parece. Yes, teacher, I can participate. I'm driving. Yes, all right, that's okay. Thank you. All right, okay. So, oh, hi, Mariano. All right. So, what we're going to do then right now Vamos a esperar un ratito más para que todos estén. Hi, Kishore. Ok, hi. Ok, Doris. All right, veamos esto de acá y luego tomamos la asistencia en un par de minutitos. Let's go on with un, um, unit 3, page 27, exercise 1 and 2. Hold on. All right, so here we have, I will be able to. A ver, Daniel, can you read this, provide? Okay, I will be able to provide effective strategies, strategies okay. to avoid overstuffing and understuffing. Oh, all right, I will be able to provide effective strategies, all right, to avoid Overstuffing and understuffing. A ver, what is overstuffing and what is understuffing? No veamos nada, no lo busquen en Google, all right? Just solo con lo que tenemos ahí, what is overstuffing and what is understuffing? ¿Alguna idea? Overstuffing, I think, is a lot of, a lot of employees. Ah, okay. And the understuffing is it's a uh, a little a little uh, quantity of uh, employees. All right, again, mass. What is overstuffing and what is understuffing? Ideas. Algo en la mente cuando ven overstuffing and understaffing. No, teacher. Oh, oh, oh over, over the employees. 
Okay, yeah. The, All right. the employees uh, uh, ethics or como dice, of, of the employees and overstaffing. Y, y understaffing is in employees adentro o algo así. Ah, okay. See the way. All right, so over, thank you, Domingo. Overstaffing is when there's too many people working. All right, demasiada gente que dice usted, ay Dios mío, hay muchísima gente en este horario. Understaffing is the opposite. Cuando de repente usted hizo mal el cálculo y solo hay dos gente y necesitaban ocho. All right, so overstaffing is more people and understaffing is less people. Okay, yes. Now, Johnny, do you think at school, hi Johnny. <laughs> hi teacher. Ah, Johnny, ya puse para compartir antes que me regañe Johnny. A ver, okay. uh, <laughs> uh, do you think in the school, Johnny, do you have overstaffing or understaffing? Of in, this, in this moment, understaffing. Ah, okay. So you think you need more? Yes, five teachers. Five more teachers? Yes. Oh, all right. Why do you think you have understaffing right now? For COVID. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the school fired oh. five teachers. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not very nice. All right. Okay. So right now you're understaffed. All right. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Daniel. One example of under staffing is the super selectors, cashier. <laughs> yes, under staffing. Yes, because they have a how 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 can I say, fourteen uh, place to like register machines. Yes, play, register machine fourteen and, and cashier people only two or three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It doesn't make sense. I don't, no tiene sentido. It doesn't make sense. No, it was good, Daniel. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me either. Yeah, you're very right, Daniel. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Hi, Carlita. Hi, Carlita. Let's go. Hi, teacher. Right. In your company, do you think there is overstaffing or understaffing? Uh, and uh, different moments, uh, yes, um, overstuffing. Um, in the weekend, um, understuffing. Uh, okay, all right, very nice. What about ever in your in your work ever? Do you feel that you have overstuffed or understuffed? No, teacher. Understaffing. Understaffed. All the time, all the time, because I need one person to help me. <laughs> okay. All right. Very nice. Okay. Now, um, what about Walter? Do you think you have understaffed or overstaffed? When I'm going to the office, understaffed because of the pandemic. All right, okay, very good. And before the pandemic, Walter? Before the pandemic, all of our stuff. All right. Always. All right, I get it. Okay, interesting. What about Debbie? Debbie in your company, Debbie? Overstaffed or understaffed? Uh, over. Quiero ver. Over es más. Menos. <laughs> under, uh, under, under, under. All right, very good. So, regale me un segundito, please, guys. Thank you.
Sorry, guys. All right, very good. So there are many companies that we feel that it's overstuffed and many other companies that we feel is understuffed, all right? Maybe after COVID, things changed, all right? So in many, in many jobs, many people now are not needed, all right? Or in other jobs, we need more people. In other jobs, many people are like uh, working from home, all right, so you don't see them in the companies, but they exist, all right, because they're still working, they are still working from home, right? So they are work they, are they are there, all right? So, but it depends on the company, it depends on the job, it depends on who makes the schedule or who hires people in the company, all right? Most of the time we feel that we need more people, all right, because we don't, like, we don't, we're not able to do everything, all right? So we feel like, oh my goodness, we need more people to work for us or for the company, all right? So that's what we're going to be talking about. Igual los compañeros que se van agregando, eh, si están por ahí, las camaritas, si me ayudan de tenerlas encendidas, please. Eh, yo sé que los, hay unos que van manejando, pero nomás lleguen a sus casitas, please turn them on. All right, let's continue then here. All right, now let's start. Number one, a ver, um, Debbie, can you read number one? Donde dice, let's start. Uh, How let's start. How difficult, I me confundí por el punterito. How difficult is it to organize staff schedules? Excellent, schedules, Debbie. Schedules, sí. Are, are computers good tools to create create effective, effective? Schedule, for, a schedule for employees? Very good, Debbie. Thank you. How difficult is it to organize a staff schedules? Are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? All right, now. All right, so we're going to be, we're going to continue talking about schedules, all right, and who makes the schedules at your workplace, but here we have a conversation, all right, we have Hilbert and we have Laura, it says, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like a like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. All right. Now, a ver. Ever, can you please be Hilbert? And Trini, can you please be Laura? Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule for, from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, very good. A ver, Ever and Trini, how do you pronounce this word? Organized. Mm, segura, Trini? Organized. Organized. Excellent, organized. All right, no es organized, es organized. All right, ahora, very nice, lo demás está súper bien. Voy a dejar de compartir para tomar la primera asistencia y luego seguimos. A ver, uh, de la Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Carlitos, no. All right, veamos. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. 
Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Linda. No, all right. Um, Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Mar, Mar, I'm sorry, Maria Gabriela Batres Marmol. Sorry, Gabby. <laughs> Present, it's okay. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Vale. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Vicky, Vicky. All right. Bismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Thank you, and Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Thank you, Doris. Ahí la puse yo, no se preocupe. All right, let's go back to the conversation. Bismar, can you please be Hilbert? And Daniel, can you please be Laura? Después va Victoria with Carlita. Laura, how do you keep the schedule, the schedule? Uh, organize, organize my staff. My staff is always complaining. I use. You... Primero va Daniel y después va las chicas. Okay. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. Uh, that sounds like the mass efficient efficient way i beat uh i beat it saves a lot of time yes it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time mm. a ver daniel and bismar como decimos esa palabra que está highlighted organize 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 Organized. Okay. Organized. No, so, no suena organized, ¿verdad? Es organized. Yes. Organized. Right. Yes. Y luego okay. sería efficient. 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 Very nice. All right. Very good. A ver, Victoria. Y creo que dije, ay, se me olvidó la otra chica. Victoria, usted puede ser Gilbert. ¿Quién era la otra compañera? Mi teacher. Ah, oh, Carlita. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized on time. Excellent, very nice, thank you. All right, very, very well done. Okay, thank you. Very good guys. All right, so Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. A ver, can you check the vocabulary, the separate pronunciation, pronunciation or meaning? 
Si hay alguna cosa ahí que les quiera, que quieran saber o se quieran que repita. Teacher, uh, the meaning of complaining. Complicado. Quejando. Ah, okay. Siempre se está quejando. Una okay. complaint es una queja. Cuando se llama complaining, se está quejando. Ok, thank you. Yep, very good. ¿Alguien más? The best way. The best way, Trini? Yes. All right. The, uh -huh. the best way is como la mejor forma. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Very nice, Lini. Thank you. Anybody else? Bet. Oh. Bet. Bet. Uh -huh. Ah, muy bien. De hecho, esa es una expresión. I bet. Es como apuesto. Apuesto que es... Um, Ahorra mucho tiempo, all right? I bet. Es apuesto okay. que. Okay? Okay. Very nice. Anything else? Algo más en alguna otra ahí? Or everything is fine? Okay. Vamos a regresar porque ya vemos más en clase. Vamos a regresar a esa página previa that we did here. Esa la hicimos ayer. Vamos a trabajar en exercise 7 and exercise 8. All right. Tienen que hacer su, la, la actividad 7 la tienen que hacer en su computadora para poderla compartir y lograr hacer exercise 8. What are you going to do? It says in pairs o en grupos. All right. Use the model of este modelo to create a basic schedule for five employees at your company. Entonces, lo primero que tienen que hacer es decidir su empresa. Si es de restaurante, si es de agencia de viajes, si es de limpieza, si es de comida rápida, what is, si es de la escuela, it doesn't matter. All right? That's the first thing you have to do. Create the company. ¿Qué tipo de empresa es? ¿Qué empresa es? All right, number two. Le van a poner nombre a cinco personas. Pueden ser de los compañeros que están acá. O se le pone Pedro, Juan, Ricardo. I don't know. Whatever you want. Five. Ok. And then, como vamos a seguir el modelo que tenemos ahí. Vamos a hacer el horario de una semana. From Monday through Sunday. Y ustedes deciden qué actividad va a realizar Juanito. All right, when is the day off? Si le van a dar day off. When is his break? O si va a tener training or whatever it is. All right, but you need to make a schedule. Como base, el que tenemos ahí en la página, let me check the page, on page 26, okay? Do you guys understand what you're going to do? Yeah? Excelente. Yes, All right. A ver, Jorgito, pregunto, ¿ya puede participar Jorgito? Trini, creo que sí. All right. Debbie, sí. Eh, Leti, Claudia, and Vane. No sé cómo están ahorita. Si ¿Sí pueden participar yo, o no. Yo sí, ya puedo, teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Yes, teacher. Leti, yes. Very nice. Vane y Claudia. All right, supongo que no entonces. A ver, si están en el grupo con ellas, yo las muevo. Ok, guys, let's go.
Hi, Roberto. Hello, teacher. Ahorita, ahorita ya vengo llegando. ¿Me puede conectar a la sala 6 con Johnny, porfa? Sí, claro. Johnny y Roberto, ¿verdad? Sí. Ahí está sí. usted, sí. Uh -huh. Ahorita. Sure. Yes, tell me, uh, disculpe, tenemos una duda. Uh, ¿De qué día, qué día había que hacerlo o no había que pegarnos a...? De lunes a domingo. Lunes a domingo. Yes. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you, teacher. Sí.
Hi, Manuel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Manuel. Sorry That's for okay. for 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 came to to late okay, too late. Ahorita lo voy a asignar a un grupo. No sé, muchos se fueron. All right. Okay. Eh, voy a asignar con Daniel y Debbie hoy. Es a las cuatro. Ok, gracias.
All right, guys, let's see. Um, I'm going to choose group number three. Carla, Mariano, and Ever. Mariano, you always. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even see Mariano. I'm sorry. You're selected all the time. Mariano, Carlita, and Ever. Can you... Ayer también primero. Siempre sale primero. <laughs> Can you share your schedule? Yo te lo muestro, pero todavía no faltaba. Okay. Pero mientras puede pasar otro, otro grupo. Ah, bueno, ya lo tiene. <risa> <risa> Gracias, Mariano. Right. So, what is this company about? Uh, uh, Market. The name of this company is Mega. Okay. In, in this time, uh, the, in the group select uh, five employees. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Maria Lopez uh -huh. is a general manager. Roberto Hernandez is a supervisor. Federico Diaz is a cashier number one. Ronaldo is a cashier number two. Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Se me acabaron los millones, Cristiano. The security staff. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the, uh, 7 a.m. to 7, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay. And the, all term. Um, of all, all day. Okay. Only works from Monday to Saturday. Oh, all right. Um, for example, uh, Maria Lopez, uh, general manager, uh, day off is Saturday. Okay. And work to, uh, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. all rest of the day. Wow. Wow, okay. Long shift. Long shift. Yeah, me. <laughs> and, uh, Maria Lopez is the 12 uh, a.m. to 1 p.m. Oh, her lunch. All right, so from 12 to 1. Okay. Yes, uh, Roberto Hernandez is a supervisor, and Roberto Hernandez day off is Wednesday. Okay. Because she works in the uh, she, the shift. Shift, uh huh. Uh huh. When Maria uh, rest day. All right. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> the covering, no se cómo decir. Uh huh. Yeah, they cover up. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, y hasta ahí llegamos. All Estamos right. terminando. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. That's nice. Thank you guys. Let's see. Um, I'm going to stop sharing the screen now. Let's see. What about group number six? Doris, Johnny, and Roberto. Pero creo que Doris no estuvo participando. No estoy segura. No, only Roberto and me. Only Roberto and you. All right. Okay. That's, that's enough. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Es que yo. Ok. No, Fernández. Ay, hasta cambiando el nombre está. Ahí. I don't know, Bernabé. Me or you. Well, hello. Yes. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, well, this is a schedule of, uh, of uh, to, to personal of a, a company. Of, uh, of production. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, two operators. Uh, one of uh, one of uh, uh, the the first one is Juan. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a, a first shift. Mm -hmm. uh, start at um, six a.m. to three p.m. 
and they they have uh, 30 minutes to break oh. and work uh, uh, since Monday to Friday and Monday. the Saturday and the Saturday the uh, uh, he have a day off. He has a day off. Yes. All right. Yes. And, and the second operator is, is Carlos. Ah. Um, they how I can say uh, Carlos releva a Juan. Yeah, he takes over. Uh, he takes over Juan's shift. Okay, she takes over, uh, over uh, uh, to Juan. Okay. Uh, at 3 p.m. to uh, 10 p.m. Oh, and two, okay. uh, uh, he has a 30 minutes uh, for break. Okay. And uh, to have in uh, in the same of Juan, uh, they have uh, a Saturday and Sunday oh. uh, day off. Uh, Johnny, can, right. can you continue? Yeah. All right. Then uh, we have a supervisor. Mm -hmm. In this guy, she is Maria. Okay. She works to from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Uh, every week. <laughs> every day from every week, okay. Every week, but she has, uh, she has days off. Mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, okay. And her then, break is longer, Johnny. What? Her what? break is longer. Mm, yes. Yes, yeah, because he she has a, a schedule of office. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and finally, Joaquin and Fernando, mm -hmm. they are quality supervisors. Excellent. And they work, say, from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. with 30 minutes break. of break. Okay. Mm -hmm. From Monday to Friday, no, or since? Um, no, from Monday through Friday. From Monday to Friday. Okay. Uh -huh. And they they have a day off Sunday and Saturday. Okay. Only that. And then Fernando takes over, right? Because Joaquin works from six to three, and then Fernando from three to oh. two. Right? Yes, for supervise Joaquin supervise supervises. Uh, to supervises, excuse me. To no, Joaquin. Joaquin supervises one. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yes. And then Fernando, and Fernando supervises Carlos. Uh -huh. Yes. Nice. All right. Solo siento que había poquito el break, Johnny and, and Roberto. <laughs> they eh, eh, son explotadores. No, es que así, así sale más temprano y no se incluye la hora. On, only, only work. Eh, Trabajan en máquina. Eight hours. Continuous. All right. <laughs> well, that was very nice. That, that's a very nice schedule. Thank you. At least they have Saturday and Sunday off. That's good. Yes. That right. is good. Yeah, very good. We're going to check one more group. Y luego te mamas asistencia. Y luego vemos los otros dos que nos van a quedar. Vane and Victoria. Y Jorgito estaba también, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. No terminamos. No, no importa. Ok. Oh, all right. Vale, no sé si quiere leer usted. 
Vale, Jorge. Bueno, teacher. Eh, eh, Monday, eh, one cleaning department. Y the clean. ¿Cómo se dice? 60. <laughs> 15 minutes break. Okay. All right. Eso es todo, teacher. No terminamos. Okay. All right. That's okay. Okay, but what works at the cleaning department? That's okay. That's fine. All right. I'm going to take attendance right now. Y seguimos con los otros dos grupos que faltan. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Carlitos Metro. All right. Claudio Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Thank you, Claudita. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. Thank you, Manuel. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Eh, Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Vanessa estaba con quién? Con Victoria y Clau y Jorge. I think so. All right, Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. César Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, very good, guys. Let's continue. The... Uy. Hello, teacher. Sorry, I'm here. Alberto, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. All right, veamos. Me faltan... Claudia, Dan, bueno, Claudita no, Daniel, Debbie, and Manuel. Y luego. Yes, teacher. Ajá. Okay, I, I share the screen and Daniel explain the, the schedule. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Uh, we have a transportation company and uh, number uh, who, whose name is Happy Chorogos. We offer a uh, transportation of tourists to the client. Uh, we have five employees, three drivers, and um, two, one uh, human resource and Claudia, who is his manager. Okay. And, and from uh, uh, how uh, John is a driver, he works on Monday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., one hour when he has time. It's not, it's not a specific uh, hour. And Tuesday, he works from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And Wednesday, he, he have day off. And Thursday, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Friday, 7 p.m. To, to, to 7 a.m. And, and Saturday and Sunday, day off. Cleaner yeah. is a driver. Okay. Um, from Monday from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. 
Tuesday, they off. Wednesday, um, they keep. Thursday, night shift. And Friday, and they off. And Saturday, they keep. Okay. And well, new. Sunday, uh, they off. All right. Uh, Maria is uh, the human resource. She, she works from Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. She, she has a one hour break. Okay. And, and Saturday uh, and Sunday is the day off. Okay. And Claudia is a manager. She works from Monday to Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. One hour break and Sunday is a free day. It's a day off of free day. Off. Okay. All right. So pretty mm -hmm. much this company only works from Monday through Saturday, right? They don't work on Sunday. Yes, yes, they, they don't, don't work on, on Sunday, yes. All mm -hmm. right, wow. But they have long shifts, 12 hours. <laughs> yes, they, in, in fact, is is basic. Como es? Está basado? It, it is basic. Basic. It is based in a in, in a in a in a in a real sector from my from my uh, workplace. All right, Daniel. Very nice. So, what who would you be then, Daniel? Would you be like similar to John and Peter? Excuse me. You would be similar to your schedule, Daniel. Is similar to John or Peter's, like from seven. Yes. And rotates, right? Yes. Yes. It's, it's similar. Yes. Ah, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Interesting. Yes. Thank you. And I <laughs> like the name of your company. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. All right. Then I had the last. Thank you. It was, thank you. It was um, Leti and Domingo, right? Okay. Okay. Domingo, you're going to share? Yes, teacher. Okay. I see. Yes, I can see Domingo. Very nice. Okay. Permit me. Ah. Uh, is an in the restaurant El Rinconcito. Uh, the employee's name, the no se está bien así. Bertoni, Joao, Maria, Andrea, Will, and um, Bertoni in Monday. Uh, manager is manager uh, the the. Uh, I will say about the horario is uh, a, I am in 5 p.m. Okay. Uh, two hours break. Oh, uh, two hours break. Nice. I'm uh, manager. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tuesday is day off. Uh, uh, Wednesday is uh, uh, similar to uh, Tuesday. Friday, Saturday, and uh, Sunday. All right, okay. Uh -huh. And you always check is the 7 p.m. I am at 4 p.m. Uh, 13, my 13 minute break. Um, it's similar is uh, the days, uh, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Uh, is Tuesday is day off. Okay, nice. Uh, is similar or is or I see here or I or I schedule. Is similar schedules? Perdón, schedule, schedule. Uh -huh. Yes. 
Che, eh, en Friday, Saturday y Sunday. Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, nice. And, uh, uh, Mariana, en Mariana es es was was tres. André, uh -huh. ¿qué me dijo esto? Mm, bueno, es eh, de eight a am a five three pm. Okay. Reading means break uh, similar the weekend. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Sunday, Sunday is day off. Okay. Uh, is, you, is, is it a day off? Yes, uh, day, day, day uh, off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is Andrea is hosting mm -hmm. the, the A. I am, I am, I'm 5, 3 p.m., uh, one hour break. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It was similar as the Monday of, of okay. uh, Sunday, uh, Saturday. Uh, is day off as Sunday. Okay. It will, will is cashier, as yes. Yeah, here, here. Or on vacation, I oh, okay. weekend. Uh, to uh, all weekend. Ah, oh, esta semana santa, quizás. <laughs> all right. Very nice. I like it. Thank you. And I like the name, El Rinconcito Restaurant. Okay. Thank you, Domingo. And thank you. It was with um, Letty, right? Yes, teacher. Very nice. It was very good, Letty. Thank you. All right. Very good, guys. Let's continue then here. Let's go back to our book. All right. So now let's go back again to page 27. Now, number one, it says, how does your company organize the schedules? Number two, in your opinion, what is most effective? What is the most efficient way to avoid overstuffing and understuffing? These two questions, please answer them right now. No nos vamos a ir a ningún grupo ahorita. Estas son individuales, number one and number two, exercise three. Y luego lo vamos a compartir. How does your company organize the schedules? All right, ¿cómo lo hacen? ¿Cómo organiza su empresa los horarios? All right. Y number two, in your opinion, what is most uh, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstuffing and understaffing? Acuérdense que overstuffing es tener más gente de la cuenta y understaffing tener menos empleados. All right. So let's work on these two ideas. Voy a dejar de compartir. All right. Pensemos en eso y luego compartimos respuestas. Okay. Doris, ya la veo. Hi, Doris. In teacher, in the question number one is is company, the company. Okay. Yes, Domingo, in your company, yes.
Teacher. Yes. Hello. Hola, yes, tell me. Hola, Daniel, me escucha. ¿Me escuchan los demás? Sí, teacher. All right, maybe he's having problems with the internet. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, I think Daniel is frozen. Let me know when you finish. Si van terminando, me van avisando. Hello, teacher. Hi, Daniel. Yo que hablo y el, y el internet se me traba. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> eh, ¿Cómo digo cada departamento? Every, eh, every de department. Every department or each department? Each department. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, only for uh, a comment. The uh, English of the Canadian people is not too, it's not uh, too different to the American people. No, it's pretty it's, much the it's same. same. It's pretty much the same. Yes, yes I think it's, uh, yo pensaba que era iba a ser diferente, pero. No, 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 it's no, very no, similar. Very similar, yes, yes. <laughs> yep. We, we have, 125 people Canadian in the base. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Do they and how to, to place to place for the Royal Canadian Airport. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> we, have a, we have a lot of work. <laughs> uh -huh. And what are they doing here, Daniel? Excuse me? What are they doing here? Uh, it's uh, monitoring, uh, well, um, okay, monitoring, um, I'll say contrabando, um, and I'll say, uh, it's a, it's a regional monitoring of anti, anti, anti rocks. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And do yes. they speak Spanish? Excuse me? Do they speak Spanish? No, 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 no one speaks Spanish. All right, Daniel, so you he, need to take he, advantage of that. And talk yes, to he, he say me, he say me, your English is better than my Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't Spanish, he say me. Okay, no problem. I, I, I think I, 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 I speak this, uh, English. So, so, I said, ah, no problem, I, I understand, say me. <laughs> okay, ask me, Daniel. Yes. <laughs> Excellent, very nice. Good way to practice. Yes, it's the better way to practice. <laughs> That's right, yes, very nice. All right, everybody finished? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. How do you say eh, que se trabaja en dos horarios? Uh, you work in two, two different schedules. No, horario, no. jornada sería two different shifts. Ah, two different shifts. De 7 a 3 y de 3 a 10. ¿no? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ah, entonces es, y sería uh, they work two different shifts. Uh -huh. Yes. 
Okay, okay, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, let's see. Um, 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 um Letty. Oh, very nice, Vanessa. All right, Vanessa said, okay, teacher, me teacher. Oh, okay, very good, Letty, go ahead. Okay. How does your company organize the schedule? Um, my workplace organizes the schedule from 8 to 5 p.m. with an hour to lunch. Um, I sometimes to have to do overtime without payment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, and the other, uh, in your opinion, uh, what is the most efficient way efficient? to avoid efficient, efficient to avoid efficient Excellent. efficient a way in your opinion what is the most efficient uh, way to avoid over typing and under typing okay okay uh-huh okay under typing uh, for the moment the companies don't have problems Understaffing, well, in my opinion, is a little tired. We don't try to do many things and memorize uh, and for not forget uh, the the best way that that I use is write the the thing I going to to do okay. and and but when it is is finalizing, uh -huh. I eliminate. Oh, all right. Very good, Andy. interesting. Thank you. All right, Vanessa texted on the on the uh, WhatsApp here. No, not the WhatsApp. The Zoom chat. Vanessa says, "In the company I'm working, each worker does own a schedule depending the job descriptor." Number two, the most efficient way is offering a good environment to work, the best training, communication, and payment. Thank you, Vanessa. That's nice. All right, let's see. What about, um, I don't know, Debbie, in your company, number one, can you answer number one and number two? Debbie, please. Yes. Um, how does your company organize a schedule? Uh, we have the same schedule uh, to 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. But my partner, I said my partner, he has class during the week, so one day he arrived late and one day he leaves early. Okay. And we only have one hour to take the lunch, but we take the lunch when have time. Okay. No, we don't have a, a specific hour. Right, okay. Ah, I get it. All right, thank you, Debbie. Very good. Oh, let's see. What about Manuel? What can you tell us about... And uh, number one and number two. Number one, it's important to organize the schedule for department employees. Okay. And number two, the schedule organize the human resource department is for important activity. Okay, all right, very nice, thank you. Let's see, what okay. about um, Ever? Can you tell us about your company, Ever? Hello, teacher. Uh, in my company, uh, we distribute the same uh, schedule for the the old person because we don't have a uh, um, uh, a lot of personal. We have only uh, how do you say? Uh, Empresas, eh, que, eh, hay que no In my case, my schedule is only uh, start to work tonight uh, to 4 p.m. I have a one hour for lunch. Okay. Uh, to for Monday to Friday. Oh. Okay. All right. So you you have other companies working for you, uh, Ever? Yes. Okay. We got uh, yes, uh, uh, one company to make the deliveries. Uh, I have to want a uh, uh, company to 
uh, in turn to import the, to the uh, supply to Miami from El Salvador and, and makes two different uh, distributors and export to Honduras and uh, Nicaragua. We got uh, other company that work for us. Interesting. Very nice, Eric. Thank you. All right. One more. Someone else, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's Maro, Mariano, Daniel, who wants to tell us about number one and number two. Me, teacher. Okay, uh, how does your company organize schedule in the person in charge of each department? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And the number two, in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstuffing and understaffing is, uh, I think, is create a schedule according to the activities of the company. For example, when uh, when in in my department, when when we receive a um, big airplane, we need a uh, three air marketer. Okay. And when we when don't have a a, a big airplane, only need a, a one a one air marketer. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I get it. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's continue then with your book here. All right, let's see. It says, look at the conversation and answer the questions. That sounds like way. What does it say? That sounds like what? The most efficient way. The most efficient, the most efficient way. All right. And number two, it is? The best. Ah, the best way to keep yourself organized and? on time and on time right very good okay guys so here we're going to talk about this right now let's go to page 28 exercise 5 how to use superlative forms of adjectives me parece que recién empezado el módulo hablábamos de los comparative adjectives all right when we compare but now we're going to talk about superlative adjectives all right that means that we're not comparing we are saying that whatever we're saying is the best or is the biggest or is the greatest, okay? We're not really comparing anything. We're saying that that's the top of the top, all right? Now, it says use the superlative form of adjectives to compare more than two persons or things in a group. De hecho, no es que estemos comparando. Estamos diciendo que esa persona o esa situación o esa... El objeto es lo mejor o es el top de todo. Ya no comparo nada. All right. Entonces yo digo, Jack is the fastest server. All right. No estoy comparando a nadie ahí con Jack. Solo estoy diciendo que él es el mesero más que. Rápido. Más rápido. All right. Es, de hecho, si lo, si lo dijéramos como tendría que ser, es rapidísimo. All right, porque esa es la forma superlativa. So Jack is the fastest server dentro de todo el restaurante. That was the saddest moment in the shift. All right, the busiest hour is during lunch. Kitchen managers have the best schedules. I usually receive the worst tips. How are we going to make? Me ayudan con mi micrófono, porfa, está abierto. All right. ¿Cómo vamos a trabajar de superlative form? All right. ¿Se acuerdan que cuando comparábamos decíamos, she is, um, I don't know, nicer than. Le agregábamos er a la, a la adjective, all right, y le poníamos dan. Si era de una sílaba, si era de dos o más sílabas, le poníamos eh, more beautiful than, por ejemplo, o more handsome than. All right, ese es el comparativo. El superlativo, ya no vamos a ponerle el dan porque no estoy comparándolo con algo. Ahora estoy diciendo que es. Estar en el top de todo, independientemente de lo que sea. All right. Entonces ya no pongo el done. All right. 
y le voy a agregar el artículo the. All right, por ejemplo, eh, Jack is the fastest. Le, ag le agregué the. All right, ¿y cómo convierto ese superlativo? Ese adjetivo en superlativo, le voy a agregar est. Fast es el adjective, hoy le voy a poner est y se va a leer fastest. All right, saddest, busiest. All right, igual que en la forma comparativa, tenemos adjetivos que son irregulares. Por ejemplo, el adjetivo, el adjetivo es good. El comparativo es better y el superlativo es best. The best, yes. All right. Mi um, adjective es bad. Mi comparativo, ¿cuál es? Worse. Worse. El superlativo se vuelve the worst. Worst. The worst. Esas cambian porque son adjetivos irregulares, entonces se mantiene irregular en comparativo y se mantiene irregular en superlativo. All right, now, igual que en el comparativo, si mi adjetivo tiene nada más una sílaba y recuerde que la sílaba es por sonido, no por escritura, yo voy a decir the fastest, the saddest, the biggest, the prettiest, the um, slowest, all right. But if my adjective is longer, two or more syllables, we're going to use the most plus the adjective. Si dijéramos, ella es la más hermosa de todas, dijéramos, she is the most beautiful. All right, the most, y el beautiful lo dejamos tal cual, beautiful, all right? Usted dice, y, ay, no sé, árabe o chino es la, el, el idioma más difícil de todo el mundo, all right? de todos los idiomas. All right? So we say Chinese is the most difficult language. ¿Ok? Entonces, hacemos el superlativo de adjetivos largos agregándole the o da plus most. Y ese most lo hace superlativo. En el comparativo era more. All right, now in the superlative form is the most. Y luego el adjetivo. En adjetivos largos, adjetivos cortos, pongo the or the y luego est. ¿Me entienden con eso? Yes, no, so, so. Yes, teacher. Yes. ¿Ya? Yes, teacher. ¿Seguro? ¿Seguras? So, so. <laughs> Yeah, all right, muy bien. Ok, vamos a ver. Daniel, tell me, um, do you have a question, Daniel? ¿O quiere que le repita algo ahí? Excuse me, teacher. Do you have a question about oh. the Daniel? Mm, no, question no, teacher. Um, it's complicated because we need to learn the superlative for every, every, every adjective. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Entonces, this is, this is, I, I see a little, a little complicated. Yeah, all right, okay. Mm -hmm. all right. Bueno, no sé si alguien tiene preguntas o quiere que le re, re, um, diga algo. Le vuelve a explicar algo. Teacher, pero no, no es de superlativo. ¿Cuándo es que usa di en da? Vale, eh, en la T, T, H, E, ¿cuándo es que pronunciamos D? Um, it depends, Doris, whenever, pretty much whenever you want to say D or the, all right, mientras lo lleven, no se preocupe tanto en que es the most or the most. It depends, I mean, some people are going to say the most, some people are going to say the most, but it's the same, Doris, all right? Oh, okay. Yep. Very nice. A ver, somewhere else. Lo importante es que en el, en el superlativo vamos a usar the, the or the, plus the adjective, all right, plus est, all right. Entonces yo digo, uh, no sé, um, I can't think of anything. 
this test is the easiest, all right, of the course. Right? Ya no digo, no lo comparo con algo, algo o alguien, sino que es el más fácil de todo el curso, all right, de toda la asignatura. Esa sería una forma de usar el superlativo. La otra es the or the plus most plus adjective. All right. Y obviamente el complemento. All right. Entonces yo digo, um, what can I say? Uh, this is the most important event in the company. All right, this is the most important event in the company. The most y luego important y luego lo demás que queramos decir. Okay? Questions? Preguntas? Las Y se convierte en, en latinas, ¿verdad? Ahí en el, en el verbo easy. En el adjetivo easy, ¿sí? Sí, se, se okay. convierte en latina. Trini, muy bien. All right. Ok. Voy a dejar de compartir acá. Nos vamos a ir a los grupos un ratito. Y quiero que me trabajen en el ejercicio, ahorita les digo. Exercise 6 creo que es de la página 28. Exercise 6, nada más ahorita sobre el exercise 6. All right, y dice underline the correct word or phrase. La van a leer y la van a resolver. El, no, no, sé, no creo que se tarde mucho. Igual yo lo regreso en un par de minutitos. Let's go to the groups. Read it y discutan ahí cuál sería la forma. Let's go. Doris, ahorita la uno a un grupo, Doris. ¿Y por qué no me ha unido? Ahorita la estoy uniendo. No se preocupe, a mí tampoco. Ah, pues los no unidos hagamos un grupo. Ahorita voy. Y a yo, dijo el hondureño. Ahí está el jefe también. ¿En qué sala estaba, Jorge? Se me está cayendo el internet, pero no es de nosotros, Vicky. Ah, bueno. Ya le iba a decir reboté su router. <risa> Jorgito, ¿se acuerda? Fíjese que no escucho bien, tengo mala la señal de internet, pero está con Victoria María. Vaya ahorita. Victoria, sí. Y con Vanessa. Vicky, sí, yo ya la uní a ese grupo con Victoria y Vanessa. ¿Y por qué no me escucha ahí? ¿Por qué no me le ha dado, no me ha caído la ventanita? Claro que ya se la mandé, señorita. No, teacher, nada me ha caído, solo usted la veo en la pantalla. Bueno, ya lo mandé. A ver, da bien que, ¿y qué pasó, Vicky? Ah, pues a mí tampoco me agrego. Yo estoy con Robert, no, Domingo, perdón. Ah, la sala 5. Gracias. Vaya, Vicky, ya la volví a mandar.
All right, guys, let's check what we have here. Uh, it's this one. All right, number one. Um, Walter, can you just, esa solo leamela porque ya está ahí. Okay. Um, the most important thing is to find a substitute for C employees. Thank you. All right, very nice. Vicky, can you do number two? Just teacher ahorita. <clears throat> Don't use a read the number the fastest. La dos, Vicky, la dos. Don't ah, bebe, perdón. <laughs> Don't use the best schedules. The schedule as a reward. Excellent, Vicky. Thank you. All right, nice. Bismarck, can you do number three? Jane is the fastest way waiters. Jane is. Hmm. What's the difference? It's the same, okay. right? Oh, yeah, the fastest. Yes, it's our legend and I'm the fastest. Very good, Trini. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Mariano, can you do number four? Okay, teacher. Delivery orders are the most popular right now. Thank you. Yes. All right. All right, let's see here. Um, number five, Domingo. Uh, number five is the, the most pretty decorated. This restaurant has the prettiest, the most pretty, de ah, the most pretty decorations. ¿Cuál me dijo, eh, Domingo? The most pretty decorated. Seguro, Seguro Domingo? Mm, right. Uh, this, this restaurant has the, the prettiest. Sí. prettiest. Yes, Domingo. Okay. This restaurant has the prettiest decoration. Dos, dos sílabas. Uh, uh -huh. Una sílaba. Right. De hecho, son dos, ¿verdad? Pretty. Pero acuérdese que hay unos que de lo, dentro de los adjetivos que son de dos sílabas y se hace eso que acabamos de hacer ahí. All right. Manuel, ah, ok. Manuel, thank can you. you read the, yes, thank you. Manuel, can you read the last one, please? The kitchen. Ok, number six, teacher. The kitchen manager work the longest. Yes, the kitchen manager works the longest shifts. All right. Yes. All right, las jornadas más largas. Excellent, very good. Okay, guys, tomorrow we're going to continue working with superlatives and then we're gonna move on with the new topic. I'm gonna take the last attendance so you can go. Ah, uh, de hecho, hoy se queda conmigo. Mariano. Un ratito, Mariano, all right? Okay, t sure. that's right. Thank you. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Carlos Eduardo Carribas, Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez, Daniel Antonio Luna, Present teacher. Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez, Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González, Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano, Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Where's Johnny? Uh, Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Jose Roberto Martinez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benazir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. 
Fismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present Julio César Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys, you may go. Thank you so much. Acuérdense que ya casi nos quedan tres días nada más para descansar una semanita. Yo sé que nos urge a todos y a todas. All right, very good. I'll see you tomorrow. Solo se queda un ratito, Mariano. Thank you. Okay, Bye. teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. You too. Okay, Mar hi, Mariano. <laughs> hi, again. Hi, again. Siempre le sale, usted sale sorteado, siempre, Mariano. Ya me di cuenta. Sí, mire, ya vi que me tiene ahí en la lista no. negra. Al primero que mira. Y no es mentira que toda la semana pasada ahí está, mire. Y siempre sale primero. <laughs> pero me juro que no soy yo. <laughs> All right, a ver, Mariano, ¿cómo vamos con la plataforma? ¿Todo bien? Ya, todo bien. Ya hice el examen. Ayer tuve un ratito. Ok. Y tarde y lo terminé. Eh, la verdad lo sentí bien. Okay. Todo lo, lo sentí que lo manejaba, lo dominaba. Wow, very nice, Mariano. O sea, en lo que estaba ahí. Pues. Claro, claro, yo sé. A ver, Mariano, do you have any questions about anything that you need me to help you with o estamos bien with everything? Eh, I think everything okay, teacher, but I don't have a punctual question that all right. Yeah, I have a question in the the long of the class, right, but, yes. but uh, a punctual question in right. everything area or I I don't have. All right. Okay. Very good, Mariano. It's okay. I think you're doing very very well, Mariano. So it's nice that you are continuing with your classes because you are doing really well. Ah, oh, thank you, Tisha. Uh, really, uh, I take a class in another academy in the past, but the, in this occasion, this like class, <laughs> oh. but this time is different. Oh, really? Here is this time I search the class. Oh, okay. Well, and, and it's more interactive. Right. And the, the other time, yeah, I uh, I am a shy in this time, uh -huh. and the teacher are is very uh, they were they were uh, were very angry angry oh angry angry <laughs> all right I'm not angry <laughs> yeah, I'm not teacher sure. no I'm not angry. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm happy to hear that, Mariano. I'm very happy that you like the classes. Yes, yeah, sure. It's very interesting, your method. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mariano. Very good. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, it's okay. I'll let you go, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right? Thank you for being here. Okay, sure. All right. Bye. Good have a good night, Mariano. Good night. Bye. Good night.